गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर राकेश आहूजा प्रोफेसर इन क्यूरिन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ चितकारा यूनिवर्सिटी पंजाब टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ऑन डिस्टेंस नेबर एडजेंसी फॉर इमेज पिक्सल ड्यूरिंग माई प्रेजेंटेशन आई शेल कवर द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट इमेज डिस्टेंस मीजर फॉलोड बाय नेबर ऑफ पिक्सल एंड एडजेंसी first of all we should know what is image image is nothing but a visual representation of an object or it is a two dimensional function fx y where x y are special coordinates and the amplitude of f is called the intensity or gray level of the image now we come to the point of what is digital image when x y and the amplitude of f are all finite and discrete quantity then the image is known as digital image what is pixel the smallest element in the picture is known as pixel pixel is also named as picture element image element pals or pixel but generally we will use the term pixel in the subsequent slides now we come to the point what is how can we measure the distance there are three way to calculate the distance between two point euclidean distance static block distance and chessboard distance Euclidean distance the distance between two points located at the coordinate x y and the coordinate s t is defined by under root 1 by 2 x minus s whole square plus y minus t whole square and this can be explained by having a suitable example suppose we have a image of size 3 by 3 these are the location of pixels and suppose we have to calculate the distance from pixel p to pixel q suppose p is at location x y whose value is 0 0 q is at location s t whose value is at 1 minus 1 putting these value in this distance formula we obtain value under root 2 this is shown in the next image this is the distance from the central pixel likewise we can calculate the distance of rest of these pixel and we obtain value in this manner right another way to measure the distance between pixel is city block distance city block distance is defined by the formula mod of x minus s plus y minus t again the same image we have taken for example and this is the image of 3 by 3 as we have taken in previous one case suppose p is at location x y again the value is 0 0 and q is st whose value is again 1 minus 1 putting all these value in this formula we get value 2 which is shown over here means is that this pixel is two unit apart from this central pixel p this is shown in this image likewise we can calculate the city block distance for rest of these pixel and we obtain the city block distance in this way right now we come to discuss the last one type of distance measure that is chessboard distance in this case the chessboard distance is shown by this method maximum of x minus s and y minus t we are taking the same example suppose p is at location x y whose value is 0 0 and q is at location s t whose value 1 minus 1 putting the value of x y and s t in this formula we obtain value 1 which is shown over here right and likewise we can calculate the distance of rest of these pixel and we obtain value these and this is the matrix of chessboard distance now we come to the point how can we calculate the neighbors of a pixel suppose p this is p this is an image this is central pixel p right now now we can define there are three categories of neighbor of pixel we can define very first is n4p next is ndp and n8p n4p means four neighbor of pixel ndp what are the four diagonal neighbor of pixel and n8p is what are the eight neighbors of pixel p we will explain all these 
categories in the subsequent slides. Very first, we will discuss the n for p. Suppose a pixel p, this is at coordinate x, y. It is having two horizontal pixel that is shown over here x plus 1y and x minus 1y as well as two vertical pixel which are values x, y plus 1 and x, y minus 1. The combination of all these pixel are for neighbor of P and is denoted by N for P. Here the important point is that each pixel is at unit distance from x, y. Now we will discuss N, D, P means is that what are the diagonal pixel of this pixel P. The four diagonal pixel of pixel P are x plus 1, y plus 1 and x minus 1, y minus 1. These two pixels are at plus 45 degree angle of this coordinate and two more pixels that are lies on the diagonal of this. This is x minus 1, y plus 1 and x plus 1, y minus 1. And these four pixels, they are lies on the diagonal of this matrix, this uh, pixel P, consider as for diagonal neighbor of pixel P and is denoted by ND. P. Now we will calculate what are the 8 neighbors of pixel P and it can simply be calculated by having the union of all pixel of that come under N for P as well as all pixel of N D P. Then we can get all 8 pixel of this neighbor, uh, all pixel of all neighbor pixel of this pixel P. This is N8 P. Now the major important point is what, how can we define the adjacency? Two pixels, suppose P and Q are said to be adjacent if these two condition has to be satisfied. Very first condition is that both of them are neighbor. Neighbor can be calculated as either N4P, NTP, N8P, depend upon the type of adjacency that we will be discussing over here. Second condition is that both are having the same uh, same property. Same property may be the same gray level value or the range of gray level value. This will be explained in subsequent slides. We will discuss three type of adjacency, four adjacency, eight adjacency and m adjacency. Very first is four adjacency. Suppose we have this image of size 3 by 3 and here we have shown the value of gray level value of each pixel 0 1 1 0 2 0 0 0 1 in what case we can say two pixel are four adjacent suppose the definition is two pixel p and q are four adjacent if very first condition their value lies from v v is the set of defined intensity value this is given to us and second condition is that q is in the set n for p n for p we have already discussed means two horizontal pixel and two vertical pixel right now for uh, we can explain this by having some example so table example for the following image this is the image of size 3 by 3 we have to check whether the pixel p and q these are two pixel p and q are four adjacent and the value of v is given 1 2 in order to check whether the pixel p is four adjacent to q we have to check these two condition very first condition their value lies from v means is that we have to check whether p lies from v the value of p is 2 which lies from v definitely p belongs to v as well as we must check q must be belongs to v the value of q is 1 1 is the element of v means is that both the element p as well as q their value lies from v means is that they very first condition is true for checking whether p is under p is 4 adjacent to q right now we will check q is in the set of n for p now we will calculate this is p we have to calculate the n for p n for p we have already discussed two horizontal pixel these are 0 and 0 and two vertical pixel 1 and 0 so in that case we are saying q is not the element of n for p Therefore, second condition fails. If this second condition fails, 
means is that P and Q are not four adjacent in this particular example. Next, we discuss eight adjacency. Now, the definition of eight adjacency is two pixel P and Q are eight adjacent. Very first condition again the same. Their value lies from V, and V will be defined as set of intensity value. This is given to us. Second condition is Q is in the set M eight P. This can be explained by this example. We have to check. Whether the pixel P and Q, P is a central pixel and Q is another pixel, we will check whether these two pixels, P and Q, they are adjacent, eight adjacent or not. Now we will check whether very first is their value lies from V. Means is that we should check the value of P belongs to V. The value of P is two. Yes, two belongs to V because two is in the set V. Now we will check Q. Q, the value of Q is one. V is again in the set one. V. The means is that P and Q both values are live from V. The very first condition is satisfied. Now we will check this particular pixel Q is in the set n eight P. Now we will check what are the eight neighbors of P. Eight neighbors of P is zero, one, one, zero, 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 one. Means is that Q is in the set of n8 p if second condition also satisfied means is that p and q are eight adjacent next we will discuss about the m adjacency two pixel p and q are m adjacent if very first condition their value lies from v as in the previous one case second condition one of the following condition must be true if one of the condition is true we can say two pixel p and q are at m adjacent to each other very first condition is that we will check q is in the set n for p means is that we will check whether it belong to horizontal or vertical pixel of p if this condition fails we will check another condition another condition means is that we have to check q is in the set of ndp means is that q must be lies on its diagonal pixel and one more condition we have to check the intersection of n for p and n for q means is that the common pixel the common pixel under n for p and n for q their value must not lie from v again it can be understood by this example Suppose for the following image, this is the image of size three by three. Again, we have to check the same pixel P. This is at central pixel, and this is another pixel at row first and column three. We have to check whether these two pixel are m adjacent or not. The value of pixel P and Q are given over here. The value of pixel P is two. We have to check very first condition. Their value lie from V. The value of p is two. Two belongs to this set. Yes, two belongs to this set as well as we have to check for q. Q also belongs to this set. Means is that very first condition is true. P and q their value lies from v. Right. Now we will check if second condition is true. Then we can say p and q are m adjacent. We very first we will check q is in the set n for p. This is the q. And we have to check whether Q is in the set of n for p. Again, we know there are two just horizontal pixel and two vertical pixel are under n for p zero zero one zero. But again, we can check we can check Q is not an element of n for p. Therefore, this condition is failed. If this condition is failed, then we can check for another condition. We have to check Q is in the diagonal element of p. Means is that Q is in the set N D P. Now we can check this is P whether Q lies on the diagonal of this. Yes, Q lies on the diagonal of this. So this condition is true. Now we have to check this condition also must be true. Means is that we have to calculate N for P and N for Q. N for P we have already calculated, but again we can calculate N for P is zero zero zero. One, right? And n for q is 
वन एंड जीरो तो मीन्स इज दैट वन एंड जीरो दीज टू आर द कॉमन एलिमेंट बट दीज टू एलिमेंट फॉर पी एंड क्यू आर एम एम एडजेंट वी हैव टू चेक दीज टू वैल्यू मस्ट नॉट लाइव फ्रॉम v here we are checking q 0 0 doesn't lie from v very good but one lies from v means is that one of the value if one of the value lie from v common value lie from v that means these two are not m adjacent in this particular case p and q are not m adjacent because the common value common value which is 1 which is life from v and according to the condition it should not lie from v in what cases p and q are m adjacent we can if we change the value over here if we change the value of this pixel to 0 now we can check n for p n for p is 0 0 0 0 and for q is 0 0 and the intersection of n for p and n for q is This zero zero and zero value doesn't lie from V means is that P and Q are M adjacent in this particular case. I think you all have understand how M adjacency can be defined. Thank you very much.